Hi everyone, welcome back to my stockpile pantry video. This is the second part of it. If you haven't seen the first part, I'll link it in the description below. But I'm out in the laundry at the moment and this is our laundry cupboard. I thought this would be the right size for our stockpile pantry, seeing the other one was just too small for our family. I was using it for our linen cupboard, but it just get, kept on getting into a really big mess. It didn't matter if I put baskets in there or anything. It just it was always messy with the linen in this cupboard. So I thought this would be a great idea for the stockpile, seeing it's close to the kitchen as well. Um, I found the shelves were a little bit old at first. So, you know, we were going to give it a really good coat of paint, but I wanted to clean up all this this food and put it in order and things like that. So I found a few rolls of school contact, like for my kids' books, and I've just um, used it. It's just from Kmart. It's a navy blue colour, which looks okay with the white anyway. It is a little bit bubbly, which you will see. It's not sticking as well as it should because it's for books, not for um, drawers or cupboards. So, um, yeah, so I just lined it with that. And I think we'll, we're going to end up giving it a good a good coat of paint anyway later on. After I cleaned out our old stockpile pantry the other day, I have just thrown everything. I've thrown all the food back into this cupboard, and um, yeah, I just I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So um, this is why it's in the state it's in. So now I'm just going to unpack it all. These shelves are really wide which make it so much better for a stockpile pantry than um, sheets and blankets and things like that, I find. It's um, definitely going to be a lot easier for me to sort of line up the cans and the packets of food. When I eventually get the hang of it all, it just takes a little while to know the products that you really need for a stockpile pantry for your family. Everyone's different and everyone's got different necessities that they need and they want for their family. But for ours, I really want to try and keep it as simple as possible. I did get a few of these packets of Arnott's Biscuits on special, so I've put them in there, and I don't mind stocking up on too many of those ones because the kids don't eat too many of them. But I know that if I start stocking up on too many blocks of Cadbury's chocolates and chips and things like that that the kids absolutely love, it's just too easy to access it for them. And for our family, we're just going to keep eating it all the time. It's okay in the family pantry to have like a few bags of chips occasionally and some chocolates that you're just going to eat on a family movie night. If I stock this, if I stock this up with um, lollies and things like that, I know it's just uh, it's going to end up as a failure, and we're going to eat it all. So my whole idea here is just to get the things that our family eat on an everyday basis, and um, basically pretty plain and boring, I guess you could say. So now I've sort of got a few leftovers from Christmas and at first I just started putting them in the cupboard um, and at the end of this I realised that I don't really want to stock up on coloured popcorn and things like that. I want to sort of keep it and maintain it as a cupboard that's, you know, like the food I'm going to have all the time. So I ended up taking the popcorn out of the cupboard and putting it in the other cupboard. You know, the pretzels are something that we do eat a lot of so I will probably stock up on, on pretzels because I find they're a good standby in case we're sick and you, you want like a salty biscuit or a sayo, but maybe something that's more like a, um, you know, like a cracker or something like that. So I think that the pretzels are really good for when you're not feeling that great. So I really want to probably stock up on them. So I've got these baskets that I've just bought from like a $2 shop. This was ages ago, probably about six months to a year ago, and I've just stacked like biscuits and things like that that was in my other stockpile pantry and I sort of knew what was in there and I've also got this big divided container here and I bought this one from Kmart and this one is just chockers with a mixture of things I've got things for from Christmas there's cherries in there there's biscuits there's cake mixes there's pastas there's all sorts of things that have been just thrown into this divided container it's a really good container but I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna really need it or use it in my new stockpile pantry. So I might even end up using it for bags, like from you know for, for reusable um, shopping bags. So now you're just going to see me unpack and stack our new stockpile pantry, and I do move things numerous times to try and get it right.
So while I was restacking this pantry, it did make me realize the things that I really do need. Um, so I've sort of got a, you know, a good platform here with the canned tomatoes and canned asparagus. And I really like the idea of having like a few different cream cheeses and the craft cheddar cheese is a really good thing to have in the pantry just in case, you know, we always run out of cheese with families and things like that. So it's a really nice cheese as well. And you can make a lot of cheese sauces out of it. I like to have that all the time. But I realized that I do need more canned fruit, like, because that's something that, you know, families go through pretty quickly. And I do like to have a few different cans of vegetables, like canned peas and canned corn, like cream corn's good. Um, I really want to stock up on some canned ham, like, you know, the canned leg ham. I really like it. And when it comes down to $4.75 or something like that, a can, that's when I want to buy a few cans of it. Um, the kids, well, my oldest boy doesn't really like the taste of it, but my youngest boy does. And so three of us out of four like it and it's really good. You can always just put it in omelets and all that thing to all that too. A lot of people don't like the canned ham and you know, that's understandable as well. But yeah, for us, I find that it is good in sort of, you know, to make omelets and also for canned ham, like for ham on toast, which I really like. And if you don't have anything for sandwich meats. Um, so I really would like to stock up on some more soups and I did try the cream the other day. There's the cream there. Um, the whipping cream, we did make a mistake and didn't leave it in the fridge overnight so it wouldn't whip. So next time when I try it, I will be putting it in the fridge overnight or I might even try and get the canned cream. Um, I've got plenty of like self-raising flowers and things like that. I have stocked up on a few of that seeing, you know, what happened you know, a couple of years ago with all the flour. So I like to have lots of raw sugar, lots of white sugar, all that sort of thing. And the full cream powder and the skim milk powders, they're really good to have too because you can make sauces out of them. And you can also, like I've actually been using the skim milk now for me. Like I've been making up jugs of it in the fridge for a few days for me to drink, just like a litre at a time. Um, and then I don't have to sort of buy as much milk, even though we are still buying a lot of milk because it's school holidays and the kids are enjoying their milk more than water. I have got a few um, few packets of cake mixes here. I find them a really good standby. I do sometimes make cakes from scratch, but, you know, it is really easy when you just want to quickly make a cake up for the kids and it's all done. You don't have to think about recipes or anything like that. And sometimes most of the ingredients are already in the box for you anyway, like the icing sugars and things like that. So you don't need to go and purchase all that along with like a homemade cake that you have to make at home. So um, I've got the fresh yogurt here. I've had some really nice people send me in some recipes for making homemade yogurt, and I am going to try that. I've written a few of them in my recipe books, and I just have a few packets here because that was on special for about $2 something a packet, and I've got an Easy Go Maker, which I really like to use occasionally when we've, we're low on yogurt. Um, so with the juices, I've only got one breakfast juice here, I don't really want to buy too much of the cupboard juice because we do like to buy the other juice that we store in the fridge, but it's really handy to have as well. And I probably will buy like an apple juice and just a, an orange juice or a breakfast juice like this to store in the stockpile pantry. And probably some of those um, are poppers or now they're called juice boxes for kids. I do have a packet of the chocolate ones, which you'll see in a minute. I think I've put them up the top in the other cupboard. But the um, yeah poppers and the the milk boxes are really good from Aldi, like the strawberry and the chocolate ones, and they're just so handy to have. So I want to probably get a few of them too, and the kids really aren't going to go to the cupboard and drink them all the time. So now I'm just reorganizing the Vegemite and the cheese and things like that. I did buy this big Vegemite from Aldi not long ago because I just want to start stocking up on that. Like just have at least a big jar in the cupboard while I've already got one opened in our other family pantry. Now I've got some some pastas here. We're not really big pasta eaters. Um, we probably eat it once a fortnight, you know. But I am trying to like make a more few more meals out of the pasta because it's so much easier and cheaper, you know. Instead of um, you know, spending too much money on meats all the time as well. So I've got jellies there, which I like to have. I've already said that a few times in my grocery hauls. And I've also got some Gatorade here, which is something I always have in the cupboard in case someone's sick and, you know, I always have that or some of that Hydrolite. So I am going to write down Hydrolites on my um, 
my list as well because I find I really like a pack of those ice blocks for the kids when they're just flat or they've got a flu or they've been vomiting or something like that. So it's starting to get there now. With the sauces, I haven't bought any sauces. I do need to stock up on some like tomato sauce and some barbecue sauce. Um, uh, let me know what you think about it. Like I've always put my tomato sauces and barbecue sauces in the fridge because that's what they recommend. Like if I buy like the big two litres of tomato sauce or barbecue sauce, I don't really want to store it in the fridge, but I know that I probably should. Um, I would prefer to just keep it in the pantry, which I probably will do. I know a lot of people store it in the cupboard, but I'm not sure. Um, you know, let me know if you think that, you know, you do that or, you know, if it's a better option because I find the condiments take up so much room in the fridge. And with dry fruits also, I've noticed the other day that I, a packet of apricots I had on there that I had to store it in the fridge after seven days, which I didn't even realise that. It does... It's not always with the same like dry fruit. Sometimes they've got different things on the back of the packets. But this packet said that I had to like eat it within seven days and store it in the fridge, which I normally, you know, I would just store it in the cupboard. But yeah, there's a lot of things on on fruit foods now that you do have to store in the fridge, which I do understand. But I would like to have a stock up of some more sultanas and things like that, so it's easy to put in with cake mixes. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance pantry I'm just storing at the moment the dishwashing liquid and the chucks and um, vinegar and things like that just the um, extra ones that I've got but my husband's gonna put some shelves in the other side we've just got like a broom cupboard there which I never use for brooms because they're attached to the wall so once my husband puts some shelves in the other side of this pantry then I'll be able to store other things as well like toilet paper and garbage bags and things like that so I hope you've enjoyed this video today and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.